Shut Up and Drive is back and we're heading to Los Angeles where the 306 horsepower Lexus IS 350F Sport is ready for its close-up. Our fans have spoken, voting for the famed Mulholland Highway in the hills above Malibu. Your driving dreams are about to come true. This is Shut Up and Drive. Hello and welcome to beautiful Los Angeles. I'm Justin Bell. And I'm Townsend Bell and this is Shut Up and Drive. Now, do we have something very special for you this week? We're gonna drive on one of the most legendary ribbons of road in the country, high above Malibu, Mulholland Drive. In fact, it's so popular that over 30,000 of our fans there at home voted to send us here. You've done a great job all season giving us fantastic stretches of road to race on but this is really gonna be the pinnacle. And with good reason, the road is so treacherous, so twisty, so demanding, people really rise to the challenge. And it's so entertaining to watch that at a weekend, it looks like a MotoGP race. Hundreds of people just watching the kind of impending disaster. It's a bad MotoGP race, battle scars everywhere. But at the top, there's a crazy twisty section affectionately referred to as the snake. Because if you get it wrong, it bites back hard. So let's remind you what we do here. We close off the road with the aid of the police, and from that point, against the clock, it is Townsend and Justin head to head. No speeding tickets, no radar. Basically, it's my dream job. <laughs> His dream job, my dream to win. No joy for the loser. If I'm not mistaken, it's four to two in my favor so far this season. We've done six of these. Are you ready for a seventh? Those are sort of inconsequential details. Well, here's a look back in time. the edge of the road. I took home the first win of the year in Oregon's Rowena Loops. That was close. Then we split victories in Nevada. Come on, baby! You can do it! Justin won the first race. Oh, yeah! But I took the prize in the LFA. I came back for a victory in Seattle on beautiful Whidbey Island. Then Justin edged me out in the mountains of New Mexico. It's good. Where he also narrowly survived a crazy balloon crash. Any landing you walk away from is a good one. Finally, I got back into the wind column in the Arizona desert. Woo! Little sideways jump. Oh, some great times so far, but we're here in my hometown. In fact, I live just up the hill. I dropped the kids off at school on the way here this morning. But we're near Hollywood. And of course, the Hollywood elite for years have gone to Mulholland. and people like the rebel without a cause, James Dean, Steve McQueen, the Governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and of course, Jay Leno. And today, Justin Bell and Townsend Bell. Mate, they're gonna talk about us for years. Oh, let's hope not. Yeah, probably not in a good way. Would well, you remember in the Arizona show, we did the skeet shooting, and Pull. I kind of publicly humiliated you? Pull. Pull. Yeah, vaguely. Well, I think it would be a shame. We're down here by this beautiful ocean, sunny California. Shouldn't we do some kind of mini challenge? Don't worry, I've got everything planned out. Do you know how to swim? Okay, Tanzan, where are we going? And just relax, 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 relax. I got two stand-up paddle boards. We're gonna be competing. This is a race. You ever done it before? No, of course I haven't. Next time I'm gonna pick the challenge. What would that be? I don't know. Pub crawl? Pub crawl. So this is your big idea. I'm already soaking. That seemed like a good idea at the time. So what are the rules? I'm right. gonna stay on. It's shut up and drive rules. Standing start, we're gonna do a flying finish where that green kayak is up there. And on my count, three, two, one, go! Oh my God! Oh, I'm digging on behalf now. of the British Navy! I'm digging now. You're digging? What do you mean you're digging? This is good, this is good. Stay off my wheel! Exactly the distance from when we started. Oh my goodness me. That's a, that's a standing finish, it's a tie. For hundreds of years, your people learned this lesson. Don't mess with Her Majesty's Navy. Revin speed! <laughs> I've had enough of this. Let's get back in the cars. What a punk, what a punk. He will pay. And as we drive along here, I do feel that we're heading up to follow in the footsteps of all those famous people. Well, it sounds glamorous, but this road is going to be a real challenge. You know, last year, according to Wire magazine, the California Highway Patrol reported 
43 major accidents just on the stretch of road we're gonna drive, and that's what's reported. Yeah, who who falls off, who just does a little skid and said, oh, I must call highway patrol. <laughs> no, there must be five times that. Oh, that's crazy. You know, we've talked a lot about the car we use on this show, the Lexus, and Justin, I know you drive everything all the time for various TV programs, and one of the things that I found impressive was that Car and Driver tested this against the BMW M Sport and the Cadillac ATS, and this thing clearly came out on top. That's a pretty good endorsement when you think about it. I mean, it we has... pound this thing into the ground, pound. and it hums so reliably oh, and smoothly. Yeah. We have absolutely hammered this car. Let's recap. We have driven across the desert. Driven off-road. Driven into cloud. Driven in scorching heat. We have got air. We have got sideways. And yet, this is a full production vehicle. You know what's really impressive? We've done a lot of mountain roads and a lot of curvy, twisty stuff without any reasonable stretch for the brakes to cool down. We've never had mm. one issue with brake fade, which, which is, is remarkable. One of the common denominators between all performance, sports sedans, sedans, supercars, is there is always a limit. And the, and the key question is, at what point does that limit start to affect your objective, the lap time you're trying to do? So this is battle scarred, battle tested, and it's about to be abused here on Shut Up and Drive. We'll be right back with one of the most intense driving challenges yet. It's like a little speck in the distance, but I can already feel this adrenaline rush from here. We're putting everything on the line as we drive the Lexus IS 350F Sport down one of the most famous stretches of road in the world. It's time for action on Shut Up and Drive. Welcome back to Shut Up and Drive. The voters have spoken, and we're about to turn the infamous Mulholland Highway into our very own personal racetrack. From sea level to mountaintop, there is nothing like California, you know? There is nothing, and this is the top of Mulholland, the world famous Mulholland, also known as the Snake. Wow. You know, we traveled thousands of miles on this show all across the country, you forget how fantastic a road we have right in our own backyard. Yeah, because the other roads we go to, Rowena Loop and, and into Arizona, remember, they were sort of legendary to the locals. They weren't internationally famous. When we come here, this is the snake. This is the place that people migrate to to test their metal. Whereas the others, they're kind of like little secrets. This is 1.4 miles, it's 21 turns, and it's really an amazing test of any car. In fact, I've come here a ton on motorcycles because it really accentuates a motorcycle's dynamic of leaning back and forth, laying your knee down, body position. You really have to be so precise. So many have gotten this wrong here before. To take the Lexus now and see how that compares in a highly dynamic environment is gonna be pretty cool. Now this is a really tough section. You come out of the sun into this heavy trees and the coverage is really hard. The shadows just splay all across the road. And then you have that vista like, whoa, I'm gonna take off. So we're gonna put our starting line right here. Again, it's 1.4 miles to the top. And if you notice, Justin, there's no chance to even exhale. It's just straight into the twisties. You're gonna handle that okay? Yeah, I can, but it's so different from Arizona. Do you remember there we had like that long straight with almost a jump before that tight right-hander? Almost a jump. We caught air three times, my friend, on that road. I think we should have a deal here, though. No air, this show? What about dirt? Dirt is fine. Dirt's okay, all right. Oh my goodness, let's... I'm just gonna pull over here. Look at all of the parts, look at this. That looks like a, an Italian exotic. That thing got destroyed. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm putting a Maserati back together. Look at this, man. There's probably enough pieces for half the car right here. It's like a big Lego kit. That's it's amazing. It's really crazy. I mean, this guy got it so wrong. These rocks are like a serrated edge. He must have just augered head on. He probably had no idea how tight the radius was going to be here. It is nice to have camber, though. Yeah. That is not FIA spec rock, is it? 
That is, if you hit that, you're well messed up. But I think this really gives you an indication of quite how dangerous this road is. So you're always complaining that I've got advanced research, an unfair advantage. You decide, where are we gonna put the finish line? On your mark. Next to that pole there. I feel a bit like I'm in a CrossFit class. You know what I mean? Ah. All right, this looks a great finish. You know why? Because we have time to stop before we hit something. That was a memo for you. Well, don't jump to conclusions. Now over there is the famous Edwards Curve. You know, literally on the weekend, guys are setting up lawn chairs here. This just becomes an event to sit and watch when something goes wrong. That's what they're all waiting for. There's a reason they sit up here, right? Because this is a dangerous corner. And if you look over there, you see that little replaced bit of guardrail? Dented? Let's go check it out. Let me look at the guardrail we've talked about, but what's really interesting is the posts that hold the guardrail have just all folded back through the years. Look at every single one of these is bent back and they've had to put spacers to try to reinforce the guardrail. And of course, then it gets hit again, and now the spacer's blown out here. This is a massive opportunity to get it wrong, clearly, the evidence shows. And this is a shiny bit. They must replace this on a weekly basis. Well, you see it on YouTube. If you search for Snake Mulholland, you'll see over 80 examples of people getting it wrong for just that very reason. You can't see the crowd. All of a sudden, out of your peripheral, you see everybody watching, guys getting on the throttle too early, adding too much steering, whatever. There's been carnage everywhere. Well, it's time to turn the snake into our very own private racetrack. Officers, lock it up. We're ready for the race here in Malibu. Mulholland Highway is the most intense challenge yet, and we are about to go all out in the Lexus IS 350F Sport. Hold on tight, because it's time for a showdown, only on Shut Up and Drive. We're back on Shut Up and Drive, and it's time to take on the snake. Welcome back. The sun's come out, and we're about to get racy here on Shut Up and Drive. I'm going first this time. You know why? No. Because they call me the snake charmer. Oh, God. I tell you what's not so charming is the fact that, and I hate to bring it up, you are marginally ahead in our competition. Yeah, but in all fairness, you've put in an excellent effort. That was so condescending. <laughs> I tell you what, you get in, go down to the start line, I'm gonna find myself a deck chair or something and watch the snake like a weekend warrior. It's time to shut up and drive. All right, here we are at the starting line now. It's been awfully quiet from Justin the last few weeks. I have this crazy feeling that he's been scouting this road. He knows it inside and out. I'm gonna have to nail my marks to get him this time. All right, Townsend, I can see you all the way to the other side of the valley. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Great start there. I got a good squad out the back. Coming through this section, really tight blind corner. Looks like a little speck in the distance, but I can already feel his adrenaline rush from here. All right, now this is a deceiving corner. I think this is the one that opens up at the exit, but I'm not sure. Woo! Gonna get that downshift in. I can hear screaming tires. Into this decreasing radius, this is where everybody crashes. I almost went off, whoa. Here he comes, he does look good through that left-hander. Oh. Nice and smooth, couple more corners to go. Clipped the apex nice and late, that was sweet. Fully to the left, taking a proper racing line. Into this final S turn. Into the final, the snake. Throttle. Come on, baby, come on, come on. Boom, shut down right there. And 
How oh, was man. it? This is easily the hardest road to remember every corner. There's all those rock faces yeah. that are completely blind. You can only see 50 feet at a time. And I always get confused. I've been down here a ton, but never this fast. All right, there's the radio. My go. Good luck. All right, my turn. Townsend was so fast. He did Seawing the other day. The guy is a rock star right now. All right, Justin, it's Townsend. I'm in the helicopter. I have a beautiful view of you and the snake. It is on. Three, two, one, go! Okay, good launch. It's all about momentum. Love that corner of the way the rock comes over. All right, that was good. That was neat. Popped out. Oh, this is going to be fast. I'm a little worried here. Oh, that was a little bit earlier on the brakes there. Come on, JB, keep it going. That's good. That's good. Woohoo! Lost him into the trees. I know he's working hard on that tight right hander. Okay, let it go. Let it go. That's good. All right, hook it out there. Yeah, sideways out of there. You little bugger. Almost got into the rock. Now this is the corner that catches everybody out. Okay, getting in there. Deep on the brakes. I think he might have gone in a little too deep. Oh, it's awful. Why did I blow that? Oh, it's coming up almost at the snake. Two corners left to go. Talk about getting dirty. That was sloppy, that was nasty, but it looked wicked good from where I was sitting. What do you think? What happened here? I mean, you almost hit the guardrail. With the rear. You might have to switch to motorcycles. But until then, let's find out when we come back what the results are. into this decreasing radius. This is where everybody crashes. I almost went off, whoa. Whoa, big slide. Yeah, sideways out of there, you little bugger. It almost got into the rock. After taking the Lexus IS350F Sport on a white knuckle ride, we're about to find out the winner. Our previous races have come down to tenths of a second. Right now, let's find out who's come out on top. Welcome back to Shut Up and Drive, and we've had yet another adventure worthy of the big screen. Of course, we started down on the ocean and ended up in the high Malibu mountains. But Townsend, just before the break, I was pretty hard on myself when I finished my run. Yet on reflection, I think I might have done better than I thought. Well, you were clearly at the limit of the tires, sometimes over it. The question is how much of each, because as you know, to do a quick time, you gotta be right there the whole time. Luckily, we've got our official timing system to find out what the truth really is. So, Timer Joe, how'd we do? All right, you ready for this, gentlemen? It's a real close one. So, Townsend. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, let's go, Pony, let's go. You clocked in at one minute, 48.25 seconds. And Justin? Wow, that was a great exit. Okay, this is what it's all about right here. You clocked in at a one minute, 49.8 seconds. Well, I hate to say it, but it don't. happened again. <laughs> Just don't bother saying it. And I have no words either. Listen, in all fairness, I've been racing full time so far this year in the IMSA sports car series, getting ready for the Indy 500. You've been sipping tea and- Making uh, TV shows. Yeah, making TV shows. Yeah. But in all seriousness, guys, if I'm gonna get beaten by anyone after four shows, it would be my brother from a different mother, Townsend. You are truly one of the best drivers in the world today, and uh, it's kind of an honor. Well, it's an honor for me to beat a Le Mans champion, a GT world champion, and one of the most experienced, 
high performance drivers of road cars, Justin Bell. But think about where we've been now. The fans gave us an incredible road this time, but this whole thing started off in Seattle. Yeah, it was amazing. Do you remember that tight left hander down onto the waterfront? That was crazy. Oh, that was a full rally cross corner. And then of course, we go down to New Mexico and there was that big scene with the, the, the dirt where I got off on the edge there, almost lost it. <laughs> and then we go to Arizona. Yep. That was amazing. Airborne, three Airborne. times. We got air in our F Sport. That is exactly what we needed. Of course, we made a promise to each other we wouldn't do that here. And of course, we end up at the snake. We've come to an amazing road on this episode, the most challenging and potentially the hairiest one we've seen so far. 30,000 of you voted. We really appreciate everybody chiming in to pick these great roads. Now, everywhere I go at a racetrack around town, people stop me and say, hey, I've got a road for shut up and drive in my hometown, in my backyard. So log on to foxsports.com slash Lexus and make sure you let us know where your secret road is. There's a chance we're going to show up. One thing's for sure, we're game if you are. I'm Justin Bell. And I'm Townsend Bell. And we'll see you next time on Shut, Shut up, up and, and Drive. The Lexus IS350 F Sport has stood up to every challenge, taking on the best roads America has to offer. And more great roads are coming soon. The dream is alive on Shut Up and Drive. Look at the trees up here, yeah. the way the roots so naturally dangle, seeking yeah. moisture that was once given and now taketh away. Yeah. It's rather like the veins on my grandmother's legs. I'm like... <laughs>